I'm Kevin Snipes. I'm a ceramic artist and drawer, and I like to combine the two things together and create objects that are like small paintings on constructed objects. I've always known I wanted to be an artist from the very beginning as a child. And uh, as a matter of fact, I, I uh, had this idea to start a comic book club with some friends of mine. And we created a comic book. Um, actually, I think we did two. And we sold them in the school cafeteria in, in, middle, in junior high school uh, for, I think it was five cents a piece. And I remember someone saying, hey, this is awful. I want my five cents back. <laughs> When I went to art school, I decided to actually return to my comic book roots after studying uh, realistic, uh, more formal types of art. I like to think of myself as a storyteller of sorts, and stories come from all different types of places. Sometimes they're truth, sometimes they're dreams, sometimes they're other people's truths, sometimes they're completely fake. One story that is an uh, overriding subject in my work is the construct of otherness and so a lot of my work has uh, multiple sides that come together and so there's two fronts and two backs or no fronts or no backs to the work there's just sort of a constantly revolving interrelationship of people and things that come into play in my work um, and this keeps me really excited so I've been working on this concept of combining things that are different into one piece for several years now. Especially in ceramics, there are not that many um, African Americans. And so I think a lot of times um, the burden of being an African American ceramic artist is that people expect you to make uh, black work. And um, my way of dealing with that is to, to talk about something deeper than blackness, which is actually the concept of otherness. And otherness can mean many different things, but it does, it means basically that. Um, you know, creating a sense of self and the other. And, you know, you know I've not really been interested in making work that seems uh, very African, or even, for that matter, uh, very ghetto, or, you know, like having this sense of, like, you know, what, what does black mean? Because um, I've never been to Africa, and I grew up in a suburb that was very, very racially diverse, and so for me, it's like I'm not really the person to speak of the streets of you know, whatever. But I have often found myself in situations where I do feel like an, an other, and, and I think that a lot of people can relate to that in different ways. There's elements of my work that do kind of play with this, um, you know, this space of what, is it, what does blackness mean? There's um, what I have nicknamed sometimes as sneaky blackness in my work using uh, black hair, for instance, or using um, some uh, things that are humorous, but also a little bit um, politically incorrect, which is like, I, like, I love drawing this character. This is a black-faced popsicle. He knows that, this character knows that he's a living thing, and, but people are getting big bites out of him, and he's pretty unhappy about it. And I think that, you know, like a lot of uh, political work can be um, not personal. I really am interested in working on a personal level.